Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marinol Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 21, verses 15 to 17. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Pius X, Pope and Bishop of Rome. And for us Marinolers, St. Pius has a special place in our hearts because it was he that granted our request to officially become the Catholic Foreign Mission Society of America on June 29, 1911. So St. Pius X lived a very holy and austere life and centered his life and papacy to serving the poor and the sick, liturgical reforms, and giving great attention to the sacred scriptures. He died on August 20th, 1914, and one of the last words he said were, I was born poor, I have lived in poverty, and I wish to die poor. And I am sure the spirit of St. Pius X continues to guide us Marinolers as his dedication to the poor and marginalized is our mission focus as well. And just as we hear from Christ today that the two greatest commandments is to love God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. If we neglect the poor and suffering, our life as Christians is incomplete. So through the intercession of St. Pius X, let us never forget all those who are suffering and continue to be the hands and feet of Christ in service to them. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and pious day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at maryknollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.